It seemed to demand the appropriate resolution from whoever it would enter, just like the ritual storehouse. When the double doors opened, a stifling rotten air and a bunch of winged insects came rushing out. I remembered accidentally killing a hermit crow a long time ago by, living it, by leaving its tank out on the porch and how intense the odor it left was. That was the smell of a corpse, and that's def certainly what this smelled like. Nothing like rotten flesh. Greatest smell in the world. Inside it was pitch black, but Mion flicked a switch that turned on a light bulb, illuminating the interior. The path turned into a series of intricate wooden tunnels. We passed spaces that looked like they were for storage. We passed places that looked like someone had lived there. All this indicated they had been used as a bomb shelter and a stockpile during the war. It didn't give an impression of a dugout bomb shelter that had just been left there, though. There was a sense of dignity, as though this were a second Tonazaki house constructed underground. This is fucking Vault Zonazaki. <laughs> Vault 731. Basically. Despite being in pitch, wire, pitch darkness below the ground, the voices of cicadas were entering through an air hole somewhere, giving it a very mysterious feel. Not a very uh, sturdy bomb shelter, then. You saw what was in the ritual storehouse, right? The piles of tr torture instruments. All of them were created to uphold the strict religious laws of Onigafuchi Village. They were tools used to kill those who broke the laws in terrible ways as a warning to others. That was a long time ago. Watanagashi, originally a ritual meant as a deterrent, was once overseen by the three families. But thanks to the Kimiyoshi and Furude families going to into decline, the way the times changed, actually carrying it out became difficult. I can imagine why. You'd never think people could be okay with drowning people in a swamp and killing them in modern Japan. More like modern, anyway. That's why the Sonazaki family built this. A secret place so that they could continue to conduct the rite of Watanagashi even in modern times. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. Shion opened a large, strikingly different door. And inside... Was none other than... A modern storehouse for ritual implements. No dead bodies? There's quite a few, isn't there? Some of them were actually brought here from the original storehouse. All the things that uh, there had been rusty and covered in dust, so they didn't seem that real. But the things in here were different. Every one of them had been well maintained and kept in a state that they could be used right away. Fuck me. Blades gleamed and spikes were sharpened. Also perhaps as a crude precaution for the splatter of blood. The walls and ceilings were covered in the kind of tiling you could you would see in bathrooms, and there was even a drain set amongst a slight slope in the floor. That's really fucked up. I thought he was going to say there's plastic all over the walls and stuff like, oh god. There is also a coiled rubber hose along the wall attached to the faucet. Brats were cleaning out the spattered blood, you know, to get those hard to reach places in the corners and cracks. According to something a leader from a long time ago wrote, Blood splatter has impact, despite the fact that it doesn't tax the sacrifice. Watadagashi was meant as a deterrent, after all. My ancestors thought up all different kinds of things to show off. As she said that, Chion pointed deeper into the torture room to, to a spot veiled in darkness. There was, there was, surprisingly, a room floored with tatami mats, and in the corner was a pile of cushions. Ah, oh, there's seats for the audience. Ooh, first two rows are a splash zone. Hope you guys prepared. Watanagashi was uh, meant as a deterrent, after all. It wouldn't make much sense if there were no guests. Hey, you're a little fucked up, Shion. I couldn't speak, and I couldn't think of anything to say in it anyway. Except that if Shion revealing all this to me made her heart feel any lighter, then I was prepared to listen for as long as I needed to. 
Yeah, she's prepping you to be fucking destroyed. Right here is where I killed everyone. There was no spectators to watch me, but I did the Watanagashi very well. Well, perhaps there was one spectator. Huh? A spectator? Me. I, the demon, was watching the entire time Mion held the Watanagashi ceremony. She uncracked in self-deprecation. Cackled. It was such a nice-sounding laugh. Wasn't. Wasn't. Back there is the prison. Is she on there? She nodded slightly. She owns Watanaga she had ended today. I needed to tell Mion that I was safe without a moment's delay. After all, she was probably trembling in fear at this very moment, worrying about when she would be killed. I swear to god, if you did anything to Mion. The austacious doors on the other side opened, revealing that what must have been an incredibly expansive space based on the echo it made. Shion groped around in the darkness and a handful of naked light bulbs came up, came on here and there. Oh fuck that, I'm not going in there. As my eyes adjusted, more and more of the great cave showed itself in the faint light. The balls were... The walls were bare rock surfaces, and it felt so savage that bomb so savage that bomb shelter was the most apt term for it. And that's it's kind of weird. There were small small barred rooms built here and there, like holes made by insects biting their way through a p giant piece of fruit. It was immediately clear that each of them was a prison. Where is everyone? Rika and Satoko. They're corpses? Oh, that's a little fucked up. I grimaced at her having said it so outright, and in such a weird tone. Yeah, that's right. The poor thing's being left here in the dark like this. I didn't want them to get infested with bugs, so I threw them down the well. I'm sorry. Oh god, you're fucking creepy. So I can't even see their faces in death. Once again, my feelings of regret at having confessed everything to Rika came surging forth. Bright news is I don't have to read the death of both of the small young girls. Which is fine. If Mion hadn't attached the word sorry to the end of what she said, I might have punched her. No, you would You're a pansy. You're a beta male. Come on. Calm down, Keiji Mayabara, you're not that fucking tough. You say to yourself, no matter what, Mion Sonazaki is your greatest friend. Yeah, my greatest friend. I need to hear myself say it out loud. Then came the clattering of bars in one of the cells deeper in. She heard that- Mion, th that's Mion, come on, Mion. I want to save you, I want to hug you. I don't want to miss a thing. When I noticed it, I looked up as well. Shion? Is that Shion? Kei-chan? Is that you, Kei-chan? I ran over to the cell. White hands were peeking out through the gaps in the bars. Grab her hand. Be by her side, as you're gonna get fucking killed. It really was her. Are you alright, Shion? Are you hurt? N no. No. No! Shion's f Mion's face twisted out of shape as she screamed, Oh god, what's behind me? What's behind me? What's behind me? Oh no, 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 no. No. Oh, please tell me. Oh, you fucking tortured her, didn't you? Oh, you will, un you will never feel my unbridled rage. It was because Shion had appeared right behind me. I knew it. Of course. Mion didn't know that everything was over yet. Calm down, Shion. Everything's already over. Everything. I spoke in as calm a voice. I spoke in as calm a voice as I could manage to try and soothe the agitated Mion. However, it didn't seem like it was getting through her screams. Shion, how have you been? No, no more, please. No more. I don't want to see anyone else die. If you hate me, then just kill me already. 
I'm the one you hate, right? Kill me. Kill me now. Sis. Calm down, Shion. It's all over now. It's going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right now. No. Yeah, that's definitely me on though. I like game developers trying to, you know, so she said sister, not she own. It, 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 it's she own. Come on. She, it, it, me owns in there. And I guarantee you me, because me own doesn't hate she own. At least I didn't get that feeling. She own hated me own. She always bad talked her, always did that kind of bullshit to her, always was rude to her, trying to steal Keichon from her. All that kind of stuff. Just a general ass to her. Just generally it seemed like she hated him. Her. That's why I think. Why she. So she fucking tortured her then? God, I know I'm not actually making any fucking sense because there's a lot of information going on. So she literally made her watch as she killed a bunch of people. God, that's fucked up. So calm down. Miona, who was screaming and rattling the iron bars back and forth, was truly in a frantic state. I gave a slight shrug of resignation, giving way to Mio, uh, Shion. I'd realized that if Shion was the one who locked her in there, and if Shion was the one who had scared Mion this much, then Shion was also the only one who could put an end to this. Shion spoke from over my shoulder. Quietly. Relax. I won't kill you. No, I won't kill you just yet. <laughs> she burst out into a bizarre laugh, as if trying to make uh, Mion's madness even worse. Mion broke out in a fierce shiver, brought on by the, that laugh and rattled the iron bars as she wailed. Please stop! Don't kill Keijon! What? What? Keijon has nothing to do with this, Tussie! If you're going to kill someone, then kill me right now! I don't want anyone else to die! <laughs> if you want to die that badly, then after I've killed this man, I'll take my time making mincemeat out of you. In accordance with the ancient rites, I'll do it slowly, starting with your extremities. I'll shave you down and mince you. I had that mincing machine set up specifically for you after all. Or would it be funnier if I were to mince up Keichan in front of you? Hey, quit it already. What do you have to gain by scaring her at this point? No! Keichan, run away! I tried to rebuke Shion from flinging terrible words at her and this late in the game, but when I turned around... Shion's mouth so much that it was hard to believe had twisted into a shape even thinner than a crescent moon. It was a smile. Okay, that music just fucking made, almost made me shit myself. Oh, God. No. Ooh, God, no. Oh, God, fuck me. Yeah, that's... Shion didn't love Keichan nearly as much as Mion did, so that's why she's freaking out and, like, really doesn't want me to be hurt. Thus, that's Mion in the cage. Yet another reason. I could sense it was like a... Sense it like a jolt of electricity. I would start running. That person here wasn't my best friend, Mion. It wasn't the Mion Sonozaki who had been tossed about by her heavy duty of succeeding the, f succeeding the family, uh, Sonozaki family either. Then, who was she? Fuck. Bam. I saw sparks flying before my eyes, like what happened when you get hit in the back of the head. The strength in my body drained instantly, and my head suddenly became heavy. My knees buckled under the temptation and hit the floor. Then my whole body abruptly collapsed. My face should have hit the floor, but it was comfortable, as if I had fallen into, onto a downfilled futon, futon. My consciousness reeled and then receded. He got knocked the fuck out! It was the kind of sensation like if you took a nap in the car, but you were still half awake, and could listen to your parents talking as if they were far away. Oh god, I hate that sensation. Oh, I fucking hate that. No, the worst is when you, like, get snapped out of it and, like, it feels like you get that falling sensation. No, that's the worst. That falling sensation when you wake up. Because I always just jump straight the hell up like, oh, Jesus Christ. 
Because I have an intense fear of, like, heights. I have a hard phobia of that. Fuck that, I will never do anything with heights. Even though I'm going into aerospace engineering. I'll make other people do the height stuff. I'm not doing it. Fuck that. Oh, that's not worth it. That's... No. I have no interest in heights. So, it makes me even more, like... Because I... I always get, like, when you, like, uh, get that jolt. It's never, like, a black background. I always get the sky blue background as I'm falling. As I look down, I can see, like, actual, like, green earth. That's when it really scares the shit out of me. No. You wouldn't be listening. You could only be hearing it. It was happening so far away, and the conversation was completely unrelated to you. So you would have no interest in it. Yeah, it just started... All the words started, like, just merging together. It just sounds like a nice white noise. So whether she, Mion was yelling in my ears or Shion was in vulgar hysteric, what, what the fuck? Uh, hysterics. I didn't think it annoying, nor did it interest me. Now then, I wonder how I should go about preparing you. Oh yes, what do you think of a bed of nails? I tested on those two little brats, but their hands were too small for the restraining table. Oh god! Oh jeez! Oh fuck, that screwed up. Yeah, you're not me, Yon. Let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Shion held me up from held me up from behind and dragged me across the floor. Mio, no, I don't. No, I don't want to leave you. The soles of my feet scraped on it, and one of my shoes fell off. Oh, not my shoe. No, please stop, sis. Please stop. <laughs> Mion's ex emotions exploded outward as she burst into a bitter weeping. As if her crying had whetted Shion's interest, she had flung, held flung me, she held flung me down and prepared to, to good God. She had flung me down and returned to the prison cell again. Yeah, there's no reason. Held flung. Yeah, that's definitely autocorrect. There had flung me down. My, you sure can cry with a cute voice, can't you? Your unnatural bravado is making my skin crawl, but this definitely suits you the best. <laughs> Mio, my big sister, I beg you. I don't care how you choose to kill me, but please at least let Keichan go. I'm begging you. No, no, no. No, no, no. No. Is she fucking... No. No. She owned it always acted as though she were a cut above her older sister. That she owned in such a miserable, miserable voice that I couldn't have imagined it during these peaceful times. No. There's no way. That's not... No. I don't believe that line. Good God, could it be that she's just talking to herself and trying to fake that she's saying no? God, I no, I don't believe Mion's doing this. That that knocked it down from 500% to 400%. It's just I don't like you, game. Stop doing that. Prostrated herself before the older sister she used to scoff at and pledged her forgiveness. Shion looked down with an expression of cool indifference, and one that was painfully smiling, plainly smiling with joy. You know I wasn't planning on listening to your petty wishes. The way you're crying though is just too funny. I think maybe I'll change my mind and listen to you. Since come to think of it, I never did anything big sister-like for you. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you so much. Alright then, let's hear you apologize for everything. Then maybe I'll let you it'll all be on water under the bridge. And maybe, just maybe, I'll let Kei-chan go. She once said she might let me go, but she never said anything about letting me own go. I don't care, sacrifice me, let her go. Before long, me own got on her hands and knees behind the bars and began to speak weak words of apology. They were too faint for me to hear, but their intention got across. Despite having watching her with a magnificently jubilant expression, Shion kicked the bars and declared she was unsatisfied. 
You think you can make up for years of grudges and hard feelings like that? That just will not do. I guess I'll make mincemeat out of you both. No! Wait, sis. One more chance. Just one more chance. She unstopped and waved her hand again in resignation. Not because she had grown impatient, but only because she was taking delight in abusing Mion. You can't apologize to my satisfaction anyway. I'll teach you how to make an apology that will get through to your older sister. I'm only going to tell you once, and if you ever... If you get even a letter wrong, you're out. Got it? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Sis. Oh. Unless, like, all this fucking torture is made, like, convinced Mion that she's really Shion. Like, she's truly psychologically broken her down. Mion's hor miserable voice cried out, having become utterly hoarse. The sens sensation tearing through my chest returned a, l a little at a time. And I realized, God, this is really fucking fucked up. It was feeling as of anger bubbling up. I was slowly regaining control of my body. However, I was not only able to feel my skin and my blood flowing at the moment. I still couldn't voluntarily move my fingers. Did you memorize it? Then let's hear you say it. Sincerely and faithfully, from the beginning to end, with all your heart. If you can do it properly, then I'll only kill you. No! No! Mio and I'm not accepting that. Keiichi, get your ass up already. Go full up... God mode. I won't stand for this! Yes, thank you, thank you so much! Something was strange. Something had become strange at the at some point. Until just a few months ago, I was sure this had been Mio, but... At some point, at some point, she had become someone else. The Mio and I knew well would never do something so nasty like enjoying, like enjoy trampling all over someone's dignity like this. Exactly. Now, let's hear it. Your big sister is listening closely. She, Shion Sonazaki is. When I ran over to Shion so earlier, had the real thing been swapped out with the fake right behind me? Anyway, this couldn't possibly be Mio. Shion Sonazaki is a lowly, worthless sow, not even fit to lick, lick her big sister's Mion's feet. And when I think of th the countless times I've been rude to my big sisters without knowing my place, ugh. Yes, yes, that's the spirit. I'll permit you to say a little more now, okay? Blood well, circulated through my whole body. My numbness, my numb senses were returning. Let's go. Come on. God mode. Just a little more. Lend me your- Lend me your energy! Ah! Go Super Saiyan on her ass. Kick her ass. Punch her through a fucking dimension. BOOM! Yeah, once I was able to get up, oh, I would kick her ass. While Mion is still holding Shion's- No, that thing pretending to be Mion's attention. Hurry up. I reflect on how imper- impertinent I've been, and swear loyalty to my big sister Mion for the rest of my life. So, uh... <laughs> Shion's burst of laughter echoed throughout the big cave, growing to a terrifying level. That was not the laugh of someone who was alive in this world. It was none other than the laugh of a demon from the bowels of the earth. She laughed from her stomach until she grew tired of it and stopped smiling and suddenly as if sni snipping a wire. All right already. That was funny enough for me. I didn't think you'd throw away that much of your pride. Hmm. That was plenty enjoyable. Shion began to drag me again and after I finally got the feeling in my body back and pulled me towards the torture chamber. Come on, man, come on. S Sis, only kill me. Please forgive him. Don't worry, all right. I'll be sure to kill you real good. After letting you get an earful of cage on screams, that is. No! That's definitely me, Own. I mean, she Own wouldn't care nearly as much. I've known her for a fucking week, come on. After dragging me to the torture chamber, she skillfully strapped me into this restraining table. Are you kidding me? Get up! No! 
Before I knew it, I was sprawled out and bound. You're a fucking useless prick. She forced open my hands, which I couldn't even make a satisfying fish, and tightly restrained each one of my fingers. Oh god, no. I don't like this. She fastened only my hands and my fingers at that, tightly with hinges and locking them in place. Oh god. Sis, don't kill him. Sis. The door to the big cave uh, with the jails had been left open, so I could hear she Mion's cries of mortification of the entire time. Oh god. Can you hear it, Shion? I'm going to get started now. Please enjoy Katron's young screams. Give it a fucking rest. Oh, turning into Mondo over here. Big man. Don't fuck with me. I don't give a goddamn shit anymore. He breaks out of the metal hinges. Come here. The feeling in my body returned, and the first action I took was to tell off that thing that looked like me own. Bitch. Awake at last, are we? I lied before, you know. About having wanted to give uh, Shion the most miserable death of all. But locking her up because I hadn't thought of a good one yet. That was a lie. Oh, God, I'm hating you even more. Shion brought over something like a toolbox. From inside it, she removed a large metal hammer. Next to that, she began to line up what looked like long, strangely shaped nails, whose ends had been turned into hooks, like the kinds you'd see on a harpoon. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, do you know how many you could take before dying? Oh, God. Oh, no, thank you. Please don't make me read all that. I'll let her... I'll let her hear the screams of all those people that died because of her, and after they soaked in her to her very soul, then I'll kill her. I've got pretty good taste, huh? Ha ha ha. Who are you? Huh? I'm Mion. Mion Sonazaki. Has the fear driven you crazy? Ha ha ha. No, you're not. There's no way you can be Mion Sonazaki. She unsnorted and continued her preparations for a hor the for horrifying torture. It's not. It's gone back up to 500%. I see. Then if I'm not Mion, who am I? A demon. Huh? You're not Mion. Mion was just here. Give her back. Okay, John, is your brain really doing okay? You're not going crazy with fear. Don't touch me, you damn demon. Give her back. Give me own back. My best friend, give me own back. She stood there for a few moments with her jaw hanging open, not having expected me to say that. I myself knew that I was about to go insane. I knew it was nonsense to demand me own's return when she was right in front of me. But, but, this person in front of me couldn't possibly have been Mio. I completely agree. There's no way I could accept that. I haven't accepted it for a while. So this is what I thought. Mion really had been possessed by a demon and was controlling Mion, as if were it were a separate personality. Wrong. Mion was just a victim being manipulated by it. The evil one was really this thing. No, the Mion's really in that cage. It all had to do be the doing of this demon possessing her. <laughs> when Mion heard that, she started to cough, laughing so hysterically that she started to cough and almost choked. <laughs> you really are a piece of work, you know that. In this very moment, Mion Sonazaki is trying to kill you, and you're trying to reject me. I never knew there was such a funny person in all the world. If you want to laugh, do it all you want. No matter what you say, though, I won't accept that you're Mio. Give her back. Away with you, demon! Ha 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 ha! are you trying to kill me by drowning me in my own tears? <laughs> no matter what, I won't lose to that laughter of hers. I shouted loudly. I shouted from the bottom of my heart so that the real Mion trapped inside 
that cage, the shield that I saw in front of me would be able to hear. Do it. I love Mion. You can do it, Mion. Don't lose to this piece of shit demon. You're strong. Show me how strong you are. <laughs> the tears welled up and flowed down her face. Her hands were busy with the restraints, so she couldn't even wipe them. She just let them flow. Please, Mion. Mion. Where did you lose to a... Where? Did you lose to a demon like this? You're not that weak, are you? Don't lose. Fight. Fight. Mia, she owned desperately enduring her laughter. Pressed one of the long nails to the tip of my left pinky. Ugh, no thank you. Ah. In her left hand was the hammer. At her side were a dozen more nails. Oh god. I could tell what she was about to do, though I wish I couldn't. Even so, I couldn't afford to be scared. That was why I shouted. Ha 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 ha! Oh, my sides hurt like they're about to split. Is that all? I'm going to get started now. Be sure to give her some good screams. Not only am I torturing you, Keichan, but I'm torturing Shion as well. Why? Why? Would you? Mion! Then I wept. Only sobs came out. They weren't in, a, in acceptance of the torture about to be performed, however. How much time has passed? Oishi, can you please save me? Though Keiichi deserves to be tortured, though. There are tears of regret that Mion had lost to the demon. She hasn't lost. Yet a small chance did occur to, in front of... Change did occur in the Mion in front of me. Her heightened excitement was draining, little by little. By the time I'd realized it, the one in front of me had returned to being Mion. Or Shion. Keichon, this may not be something pleasant to take to the grave with you. You really seem to want to know, though, so I'll tell you just one thing. I didn't know if this was Mion or just a display of momentary humanity the demon had recovered. A long time before the demon came to live inside me. It was gnawing at my heart, trying to spur me to violence, but... I suppressed it with my reason. That settled the demon down and I got to thinking it had gone away somewhere. As it turned out I was wrong. It hadn't left me, it had just gone to sleep. Oh God, don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. I noticed that there were tears forming in her eyes. The demon woke up again due to a certain small opportunity. What do you think that opportunity was? There was a sad and yet reproachful light to Mion's eyes. Shion, do you understand? I don't. I don't know what gave the demon the chance to beat Mion. This might be strange for me, a demon, to say, but... You're the reason that everything got so messed up. The tears welling up in her eyes spilled downward all of a sudden. At the time, if you had given that doll, you got without hesitating. Maybe everything wouldn't have gone so twisted. If you had given me that doll. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. It's all like your goddamn fault. Oh my god. That's the beauty of... Me? Because I wouldn't have hesitated and given it to her. Meaning I would have avoided everything. But that's still Shion. That still is. 100%. I mean, nothing again will ever convince me otherwise. Unless she said something only Mion would know. Because she only said why either Shion or Mion fell in love with you. She didn't say, I did. Meaning, she is Shion. Mion would probably have said, that's why I fell in love with you. The doll I got. That doll that I got when we had our club meeting at the toy store that Sunday. You probably can't understand. I wouldn't expect you to. 
but you see all sorts of things started falling out over like dominoes after that. And soon it was too much for me to control. It only makes sense that you wouldn't be aware of knocking over the first one since it was so small. But you're the one who set it up. That can't... me? If you hadn't made me own cry, then I wouldn't have had to wake up. Shut the fuck up, Shion. The Mion and quote. Come on. Come on. That's Shion. Is that enough for you to die in peace? R.I.P. I'm ready to die. That's all I needed. If Mion told me, the real Mion said, I love you, you can die in peace now. I see you guys in the next life. Fuck yeah, that's worth it. A mistake that I had made on that day was what messed everything up. That can't, that can't be, can it? It only makes sense that you wouldn't be aware of it. Even so, Keichan, you are without a, do a doubt the cause. If you had nonchalantly given me the doll that day, then I don't think this would have happened. I wanted to say, huh, like I had just remembered something, as I recalled that day. Rena had told me about that, and I thought I had apologized. I didn't apologize to Mion, though. I had been apo- I had been Shio. Oh, God damn it! I knew it! I knew it! In other words, oh god. I hadn't said a single word of apologi apology to Mion. You deserve every punishment you're gonna get, you motherfucker. I want Mion to live, though. She is sad. She is depressed. Oh god, she. Her sadness makes me sad. So I came to this house say saying I had something to apologize for, but I never said a word of apology about this. Come to think about it, when I apologized for going into the ritual storehouse, Mion looked a little bit lonely, like she was disappointed. Why didn't I realize that up until na just now? Rena told me at the time, and now she herself, no, the demon was telling me. It's the only way for a dense idiot like me to be cured, to die altogether? Ugh, ugh. I could no longer hold back the hot tears from pouring out on me. I simply just cried and cried and reflected indifferently on the taste of my tears and on the taste of regret. I'm a dumbass. Can I start now, then? This method of torture is very simple. I'll nail one of these into the joint, uh, into the joint at the end of your left pinky finger. Then I'll nail each one in order until I get to your thumb. Then I'll go back to your pinky and nail one into the joint in the middle. Oh, that's fucked up. Ooh, God. Ah. Oh, God. Oh, God. That. Oh, fuck. All oh, that would hurt. All oh, that would hurt. He deserves it, though. So on and on. Until I hammer 15 nails into your left hand. 15? Wait, there's only two jo- What the fuck? Unless- There's only two jo joints in your thumb, though. I mean, unless you want to put two in, like, the actual main socket. Oh, well, no, you can- Yeah, okay, I can see where- Okay, never mind. I'm a dumbass. Never mind. Yeah, you can get 15 in there. And, uh, when that's over, I'll go do your right hand next. After that, if you're still conscious, I'll tell you. There are a lot of nerves bu bundled in your fingertips, so it hurts far more than you could imagine. Oh, I know it's going to hurt like a bitch. I mean, just barely biting down on your finger, you can get that sensation of really painful. Some people apparently pass out before you finish hammering 30 nails into your ha their hands, so... She unpressed the tip of the nail into my left pinky finger. My wrist, my arms, and all my joints on my fingers were strapped so tightly it hurt. And I couldn't even twitch. Good. I didn't hesitate at all when I was torturing the others. Why do I hesitate now? This will satisfy your demon, Mion. If it will state the demon, then do to me that what you will. Are you... are you serious? Compared to how much I hurt Mion, this is nothing, right? Me! 
man. You're making me like you, man. I can roll with you now. Now that you said that, man, that's good. You're redeeming yourself. That's how you apologize. Do as much as you want. In exchange, promise me two things. Shion was silent. She did, however, wait for me to speak. After you're satisfied with causing me fame, forgive Shion. She's been punished enough to make up for a crime of sneaking into the storehouse, hasn't she? You... After all this, you can still worry about Shion more than yourself. The other thing is that when you've had your fill, you disappear. Give that body back to Mion. That's all. You know, you're... Are you not even considering possibly begging for your life or anything? Can I ask you to promise three things instead of two? <laughs> the third is to leave me alive. Fuck you. <laughs> you said two in the beginning, didn't you? So you can't have any more. That's a shame. God damn it. God fucking damn it. Stop it. Because that's how I would talk. Except I would be switching, you know. You know, let Chion, Mion live. Give back, you know, she owns body, turn yourself in, that kind of thing. Then I'll do the, you know, oh, if you want three, let me live happily with me on forever. But, you know, God, that's something I would fucking say. God damn it. In such an abnormal situation, she and I laughed quietly together, as if sharing in a stupid joke. Fuck, I can't. Why do I have so much stuff in common with him? Ugh. I probably won't keep it those these promises understand I'm a demon after all guess there's nothing I can do then I recalled tightening my hands into fists when enduring the pain at the dentist's office right now though they were opened all the way to my fingertips so I couldn't even grip them oh god so instead I tightened my toes yeah that's why I'm already instinctively doing that like tightening up all the muscles in my legs oh, fuck Okay, do it. I prepared myself already. So do it. Just do it! You waiting like this to hammer the nails in is, in is scarier. It's going to diminish my readiness, after all. She unput put down the hammer and gently struck my cheek. Oh, God. I mean, if you're into this kind of thing, sure. I'm not, though. Okay, John. I'll agree to just the third thing, okay? Uh huh? Oh god. My third wish to save me. She'll agree to it to it. Your first wish to save Shion. That's long done for. The demon will kill her. Okay, yep, that's sh yep, you're Shion. It's already been decided, so I can't stop it. So give up on that. The demon will kill her. That means the demon will uh, forever and like take over her body, which that she owned. So the demon inside of her that's manifesting itself is gonna just tear open and kill that mindset of her. Got you. Her delicate finger slid from my cheek to my chin. Oh. Oh god. Hmm. As for your second wish, to give this body back to Mion, that won't happen either. After today, Mion will never come back. From today on, even if my body is here, it will just be a body. Because the Oni has taken it over. That isn't true. Mion is Mion. Don't say such sad things. Like that she won't ever come back. God damn it. That means she's gonna kill Mion in the prison. Fuck! Can you hear it? That sound. Shion gently closed her eyes and listened. I definitely heard it as well. Slam. Slam. It was a dull noise that repeated at fixed intervals. A low noise accompanied by a vibration. A lot of people are ramming the iron doors to this ritual underground ritual storehouse. I'm being saved! Yes! Salvation! You're late, so Rena probably called Oishi. That spaced out girl being so quick thinking was the one thing I didn't appreciate. I'll agree with you there. She owned grin like she had been outwitted, then took something that looked like an electric razor out of her pocket. You gonna give me a shave? 
When she pressed the switch, pale blue sparks flew out with a zapping noise. Oh, it's a taser. You've probably never seen one before, right? It's a real stun gun. It's illegal, and its output has been in been increased quite a bit. Is that what you hit me with before? That's not a toy, a toy children should be playing with, you know? <laughs> You're right. She seemed to want to use the stun gun on me. Unable to move, I felt her press the cool lump of metal to my neck. Oh god. Oh god, that's gonna hurt. Slam! I heard a roar as though they'd broken down the first large door. The halls were a bit complex, but aside from the door to this very ch torture chamber, there was nothing in their way. I won't kill you, but I will have you go to sleep for a bit, Keichan. Oishi will be here soon. This will only hurt a bit. Feeling that same shock as before. Gritting my teeth wasn't going to help much, but I clenched them tightly anyway. Yeah, this is in your fucking neck. This is going to hurt a bitch. However, just as she did, when she was about to hammer the nails in, she hesitated a little. I cracked open my tightly closed eyelids. I wouldn't do that. I'm sorry. For disgracing Mion. I made a promise before coming in here. Whatever happens, the Mion inside my heart won't change. Look, forget about that. If you ever see me after today, don't come near me. By then it'll be the demon that inherited my corpse. What are you talking about? Just as I tried to say that, a much stronger light than before shined, and like a television being switched off, my consciousness went black. Right there, disgracing, yep. That's Shion. You know when I said before, like that stuff? No. She was doing that to f mentally fuck with uh, Mion. That disgracing Mion, she's referring to actual Mion. And not fake Mion. Her body. Or at least the body. The end. Oh god, if it ended there, I would be really pissed off. Because I want to know what happens. Don't end it there. Don't fucking end it there. 